Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Quick life update. It's been a minute. It's been a busy couple of months uh, since I moved into this new house. This house is really big. There is a lot of work for us to be doing around here. The dogs are pretty much settled in. So I have something that I'm really excited about that I want to share with you and I'm very stoked to be doing this video today. Me and my girlfriend Jen, we love to travel, we love to get away for the weekend. I feel that there's a lot of people out there that love dogs, they're thinking about getting a dog or maybe they already got a dog, but they also love to travel and they probably feel it's like a either or kind of situation. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it doesn't have to be an either or situation. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk through the steps that me and Jen have been taking to find ourselves a house sitter and the things that are most important to us. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into this video. So I'm very excited about this. I know Jen's very excited about it as well because this is going to be our first trip away together without the dogs for seven days. And we're both really looking forward to it because well, one, we're just not gonna have to do anything for seven days we don't even have to clean we got this like little road bump of finding ourselves a house sitter so we gotta find someone who's gonna stay over watch the dogs and take care of the house while we're gone now the reason we're looking for a house sitter or a dog sitter someone that's gonna come over to our house watch the dogs stay here live here essentially for the week while we're away on vacation is because we did move, well, I moved to this new city and I don't really know that many people in this city who would, you know, help us out with three dogs. Well, technically we have four, but we're kind of more looking for a house sitter for my dogs for the time that we're gone. Now we aren't just looking for someone for October. We're kind of looking for someone that is going to be around, who's going to be available and flexible and help us out if we want to go to Toronto for a concert or if we want to go to the cottage for the weekend that could come and watch the dogs. They're going to be a part of the dog's lives and they're going to be essentially be a part of ours too. We do have some criteria that we have put together of what we're looking for in our future, you know, house sitter that we want someone that is doing this full time or that works remotely that could dedicate time to feeding them, taking them out for walks, letting them out during the day and giving them attention at night. Now, because I have French Bulldogs, Jen has a German Shepherd, we would like someone that has experience with both big and small breeds, preferably French Bulldogs and German Shepherds. I think it's more for me that I want someone that has experience with French Bulldogs just because they are very high maintenance and they do require a lot. They're not your typical dog. Now we do want them to have a driver's license, a valid one preferably, and a reliable car or access to one just in case there's an emergency, one of the dogs, you know, gets into something, gets hurt, whatever, and needs to go to the vet. Now I think this is gonna be on everybody's checks. Checks, checks, is it checks? Why am I struggling? Checklist. Now I think this is gonna be on everybody's checklist and if it's not, it should be because we're letting someone into our home. They're going to be watching our dogs. They're going to be staying here. They might be coming through when we're not at home. So we want to make sure we're letting the right person uh, into our home. So with that said, we want a clear criminal check. Now, at the end of the day, we do want to make sure that the dogs are comfortable. The sitter is comfortable. We're comfortable. We want the dogs to be treated well. We want them to be taken care of so that when we're away, we don't have to be thinking, oh, dog's okay. Are they being treated well? Are they getting attention? Do they get the right amount of food? We just don't want to have to deal with that. We just want to enjoy our time away. Now, at first we were thinking, we'll reach out to some friends and family, but then we thought about it. We're like, you know, this is four dogs. This isn't going to just be this one time. We're going to constantly need someone to come in, watch them if we want to go away. Now, if you have one dog, then awesome. For us, no bueno. That's not going to work for us because we got four dogs. It's like a farm in here. Um, it's a lot of work, even for me. We don't want to put that responsibility on people that we love. Now, another place that I leaned towards was the French Bulldog community. And like I said, right now, this is kind of more for me making sure that, you know, my dogs are taken care of because they are very sensitive and they're high maintenance, they, they just got a bunch of stuff going on and 
I would preferably have someone here that understands the breed. Now this last place is where I think 99% of people always turn to, and that is Rover. We have reached out to a couple of people. We put some postings out there and we have connected with a couple of candidates. We have had some interviews and here is my honest opinion. It's tough. It's really, really tough because anybody can be anybody on a resume. You don't know anyone until you meet them. It's like when you're dating. You don't know the person until you've had multiple days. You've been seeing them for a couple of months. So kind of going through all these resumes with, uh, you know, house sitters and dog walkers, it's like very overwhelming and you don't know who is the right one until you actually meet them, have some interaction with them, see how they behave with the dogs, how the dogs, you know, react to them and just kind of going through that whole process. But you don't truly know if it's going to work out until you actually meet them and have some, you know, conversation. It's a lot of time dedicated to actually meeting them. This hasn't happened yet, but I do think it is very important. I know it is for me and I think other people should consider this too and not just let anyone take care of your dog. But what I'm doing is before I actually commit to having someone watch your dogs is that I'm going to book a couple of walks with them. I'll even tag along for the first one because I want to see uh, how the dogs react because I want to get my dogs comfortable with them and making sure that they're okay with having someone else walk them. But also if there's any issues or the sitter has any questions about, you know, what their cues are, you know, how they should walk, how far they could go or whatever, then all of those things could be addressed right there and then and not when we're gone. During this meeting, I'm also letting the sitter know, you know, what their routine's like, what kind of food they're eating, what they're allergic to, what medications they're on, asking them if they're comfortable giving medication. For example, Sorak is on immune therapy and she does need injections. The sitter might have to give an injection while we're gone and I want to make sure that they're going to be able to do that and they're going to be comfortable doing that as well. But I'm also asking them questions like, you know, what would you do in a situation where you had a personal family emergency and you couldn't stay over? Like, what's your plan B? How would you react to that? Like, what's what's your game plan? We need to know. So I'm asking them questions like that. And then, you know, what kind of experience they have with French Bulldogs? Have they taken care of French Bulldogs? What do they know about French Bulldogs? What do they know about big breeds? What do they know about... I'm trying to ask them as many questions that I need to ask to make myself feel comfortable. We have a lot of work to do to find our house sitter. If you have any tips for me or some recommendations or anything that you would like to add, then please drop them down in the comments. Also, if you like this video and you want to see part two, then let me know down in the comments. And if you like this kind of content, then consider subscribing and go check out my other videos. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll catch you in the next video.